Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the Georgia Electrical Contractors License. So in the state of Georgia, any person who engages in the business of electrical contracting under express or implied contract or who bids for, offers to perform, purports to have the capacity to perform, or does perform electrical contracting services under express or implied contract needs a license. And it's important to remember that the term electrical contractor shall not include a person who's an employee of an electrical contractor and who receives only a salary or hourly wage for performing electrical contracting work. And that's straight from the Georgia Board of Electrical Contractors. Now there are a few different classifications. You've got the electrical contractor class one, the electrical contractor class two, and the low voltage contractor. However, in this video, we're just gonna be focusing on the first two classifications. So the electrical contractor class one allows work on single phase systems that are 200 amperes or less. For this one, you'll need at least four years of work experience. The electrical contractor class two allows work on all electrical systems with no restrictions. But for this one, you'll also need four years of experience. Now, in addition to the experience, you'll need to meet the basic requirements of the board, which are that you're at least 21 years of age, you'll need a valid driver's license or USA identification, social security number, complete a background check. You'll also need three work-related references, one of which must be from an electrical contractor. In addition, no more than one year of your experience can be from secondary education. Now, when it comes to the electrical examinations, the class one examination has 155 questions. The class two examination has 162 questions. They're gonna be multiple choice. You'll get eight hours to complete them and you'll need a score of 70 in order to pass. Now we've got full breakdowns of what exactly are gonna be on both of these tests that you can check out in the description of this video. Now, in addition to the electrical exam, you'll also need to pass the Georgia Business and Law exam. This is going to be 50 questions, open book. It's a computerized test. You'll need 70% score to pass, and you'll get 120 minutes. Now, it's important to remember that if you fail this test twice, you won't be able to apply again for a year. So you'll definitely want to make sure that you're prepared and you study. You'll need to know about licensing requirements, estimating and bidding, business organization and financial management, tax laws, labor laws, project management, lien laws, contracts, risk management, environmental and safety. Now we've got courses that break down everything you need to know on this test that you can check out in the top right hand corner or the description of this video. Now when it comes to the fees, there's going to be an examination fee. If you're renewing your license, obviously you'll pay a renewal fee. There's a late renew renewal fee. And then there's a reinstatement fee if your license is active and it lapses after more than three years. But if you're this is the first time you're taking it, you're only gonna be paying the examination fee. Now, fees are constantly changing. You'll definitely wanna check out uh, the description of this video for the most updated fees. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Again, this is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.